Hi, I'm Bernie Noon, one of the elders of the church. I had such a good time gathering together at the drive-in services this past Sunday. Rain held off. It was warm enough to roll down the windows and shout a greeting to the person in the car next to you. It was a joy seeing so many people waving hello, looking at uh, smiling faces, hearing horns honk at the greetings, and it's just amazing how under any circumstance when we gather together to worship the Lord, our spirits are lifted. Although we were in our cars and not face to face, you could feel the unity as we shared the love of God. With all the negatives in the world, I just wanna focus on some of the positives. I encourage you to take advantage of the slower pace, appreciate the things that are truly important and finding joy in spending time with God reading his word, and in prayer. Having quality time with your family, looking for opportunities to help others, appreciating all of God's beauty that surrounds us. I want to pray for us as a congregation, but more importantly, I want you to feel a personal touch as well because I'm really just praying for each and every one of you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for all the opportunities that you provide us with. Father, I pray that we recognize your presence in our lives. We're thankful for your abundant love and faithfulness. Father, we're, th we're thankful that we can bring our worries and cares to you as, as well as our praise and, and worship. You're an amazing God. And we love you. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. So for our uh, prayer walk, which I guess will be a virtual prayer walk this uh, Saturday, I want you to think of something that brings you joy. And I want you to pray to God. I want you to thank Him for that. And uh, just praise Him for giving you that joy. Hey, I love you guys and I'll... See you Sunday at the at the drive-in. Hey everybody, it's Scott. Welcome to uh, our Saturday prayer walk. Just want to let you know, I uh, miss seeing all of you and uh, I know you're probably feeling a little cooped up and maybe even a little anxious as you kind of wait to the governor to open things back up so that we can kind of start to resume some form of normal life. But again, today's our day for prayer. I want to take you through a couple minutes of some guided prayer. And then I'll uh, give you some suggestions of things that I think we should be praying for after that. So um, I thank you for tuning in and uh, we'll just go ahead and get started. Father God, we love you and we thank you. <clears throat> God, we know that this is a difficult time, that this virus has created lots of unrest, lots of anxiousness, lots of uh, even some division amongst people. God, I just ask that you would bless our community. Bless the folks that are in it. I thank you, God, for the people that go out every day and try and help out others and really try to make sure that they're taken care of in this time, even though they could potentially be putting themselves at risk. God, I thank you for our local leaders as they make decisions and as they try and uh, do things to keep this community going. Father, I thank you for the blessings that we see 
I thank you for the information that we get each and every day. I know sometimes it's different information. One day it's a, a resolution in a, a couple of months. One day it's a couple of years, you know, could be a couple of years. Things change, and, but God, we know and we, we understand you are the one that's in control of the situation. You know what's going to happen, when it's going to happen, and how it's going to happen. And God, we just thank you that you walk beside us as we go through this difficult time and as we struggle. God, I want to lift up all those that are currently struggling with the disease. Um, a lot of times they're in these hospitals, they're by themselves, they're scared, they don't have their family by their side. And Lord, I just pray that you would come down and be with them and, and touch them and, and help them to feel your presence in their hospital rooms, in their bedrooms, wherever it is that they're quarantining and help them to heal both physically, emotionally, and even spiritually. God, I pray for our, our wonderful nurses and doctors and first responders and social workers and counselors and all those people that are out there on the front line. They go into this every day not knowing whether or not today's the day they catch it or if they're going to catch it. God, I thank you for their spirit. I just ask that you would continue to watch over them to comfort them, to be with them, to give them the strength to continue to do the job that they do and to love on these people that need to be loved on. God, I pray for our government. I pray that they would make smart decisions, that they would base those decisions on accurate, researched, well-thought-out data, not just a whim or anything of that nature. God, I thank, I pray for our church you know, God, we've been, as you know, we're blessed. We, we've done pretty well as we go through this time, but I know that there are people out there that may be hurting. I pray that we would either be able to reach out to them or they would reach out to us and that we could pray with them and to comfort them and to show them who you are. God, I pray for those that don't know you. Lord, this is a scary time and to be without you by our side is even scarier. I pray those that don't know you or those that have been contemplating that decision or trying to figure out just what the whole the whole uh, life is, what it is about you. I just pray that you would help us, guide us, give us some opportunity to go out there and, and to come alongside these folks, to show them your love and who you are. And God, I just thank you for all the gifts that you give us. I thank you for the tough times. I thank you for the perseverance that you give us. And God, I just ask that you would pray for everyone that's involved, that you would be involved, that you would touch everyone and let them know that your presence is there and help us to grow together. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. So when you're thinking about things to pray for, I think we need to pray for families. This has been a great time, even though it's been difficult, it's been a great time for families to come together. The busyness of life has slowed down. We're spending more time at the dinner tables, spending more time talking to each other, taking walks with the dog. I think we need to be praying that those relationships would continue to be built even beyond when this resolves. I think we need to pray for those who are anxious right now. Anxiety is a, is a big part of our world today. And there are people out there that are scared, they're terrified, and they don't know what to do. They don't know where to turn. They don't even know who they can talk to. Pray that God would come into their life and help them to, to see who those people are, to feel loved. Somebody that can just touch them on the back of the hand or say hello to them and just say, it's okay, I'm here, let me help you through this. I think we need to continue to pray for our leaders, both government, local, state, and even in our churches, that we can make good, sound decisions that we still press forward with our missions and our goals and our guidelines of what we need to do, but that we can make good, solid decisions that will also help to protect people. And most importantly, we need to pray and thank our God for all the blessings that we have. You know, this is a time to where we can spend some more time communing with God. We can spend more time talking to him, praying, celebrating all the things that we did, being thankful for all that we have and just focusing on him. Thank you, everybody. I hope you all stay healthy and stay safe out there.